Hello, welcome to this next episode of Using ClickUp Effectively. In this series, we're looking at this amazing application, powerful application, ClickUp, and we're going through a step-by-step -step guide as to how to use all of the core features and all of the core functionalities. What you can do with them, how they work, and how to best use them. This week, we're starting right at the very beginning, and we're thinking about how to set up spaces in ClickUp. What are spaces? Well, in ClickUp, spaces, they're the top level of your organization system. Within your spaces, you can have lists and folders. You can put lists in the folders as well. You can even have ClickUp docs held within your spaces. They are the top level of your organization system. And we're gonna dive into ClickUp right now, see how to set them up, and then think about how you can use them. Setting up spaces in ClickUp is actually a really easy thing to do. Your spaces live over here in your sidebar. You can quick view it by just clicking on it, and then it comes out like that. Or if you press Q, which is a keyboard shortcut, it brings the whole thing out in full and it pins it open like that. You have your everything view, which I'll come on to in a future video. And then here is where you can create spaces. So if you wanna create a space, just click on this to create the space and you can name it, let's call this one personal. You can write a description in there if you want to, that can be whatever you want. If you're working with other people and others have access to your workspace, you can make this a private space if you want, meaning that only you have access to it. You also have this little icon and name here, so if you click on that, you can change the color I like all of my personal stuff to be yellow for some reason. And then you can choose whatever icon you want or you can upload your own if you download it from an icon site or it can be any kind of a picture that, that fits in. Generally speaking, for my personal stuff, I go with just this basic me. And then there you go. This just brings up some of the default options that will come up when you create a space. So what do you want to use it for? Project management, marketing and teams, product engineering. Whichever one of those you click there, it's just going to preload some different things that might be useful. So let's just do the basic starter one. And this is the defaults for that starter option. So the default views are a list and a board view. We'll leave that. Task status is uh, to do in progress complete. We'll leave that as it is for now. And then click apps. These are just all the various different apps that you can have within ClickUp. Again, there'll be a future video explaining these. For today, we're just gonna leave all of the defaults and we're gonna create a space. So we now have a space created with a list inside it. I'll just create a few more and then I'll come back to you. So here you can see on the sidebar over here, I've created a few more spaces. Now obviously you can collapse those so you have a nice neat sidebar if you get rid of it it shows up just like this, and then you can bring out the quick access sidebar like that. Now, within a space, if you just click on the space itself, it'll give you this space overview. Now, the space overview will show you any folders that there are in your space, any lists that there are in your space, as well as the, the progress shows the number of tasks that you've completed out of the total, and a few other things over here for your lists as well. Any docs that are in the space will be up here. And you can also add files to the space in here if you want to. So what we're gonna do is we're just going to, in this one, we're gonna create a folder. And we're just gonna call this folder for now. It's gonna have a list in it. We're just gonna create it with all of the defaults. We can change the color of this if we want to in folder settings, folder color. Um, you can change the colors by adding different ones if you want. Let's just go for blue, um, and then let's just save that. Let's set the color to blue, and now you see that folder is blue. You can use the colors for various different things. I'll talk about that in a different episode. But let's just go back to the space overview. And from here, if you want to, you can uh, create new lists, you can create new folders, you can create new docs, and you can add files to your space. But now in the next episode, we'll think about lists, folders, and views but that is how you create spaces in ClickUp. But before you go about setting up your spaces within ClickUp, it's really important to decide what are you actually gonna use them for? They're the, gonna be the top level of your ClickUp system, so what do you want that to be? 
One of the things that I've seen as I've looked at different people using ClickUp is that there are actually a lot of different ways that people use spaces within ClickUp. The most common seems to be for your different areas of life. So for example, you could have a space which is personal. You could have a space which is work. You could have another space for a business, a side business or something like that. Generally speaking, a lot of people use spaces to hold folders and tasks and projects for their different areas of life. Another one that I've seen is actually for different types of stuff. So you could have one space for your projects, one space for your goals, another space for your areas of focus and your routines, that kind of thing. That is another way of setting up the top level of your system. You might also think about well, actually having different spaces for setting up in like a time-based way. So you have an active space for the things that you are actively engaged with right now, a current space for the things that are open and relevant at the moment, but not necessarily what you're focused on. You could have a space for the future or a space that is for ideas that you may or may not actually seek to develop down the line. You could have time-based spaces, or you could have different spaces for maybe different types of information. So you have a space for projects and tasks, a space for other databases that you have that aren't necessarily tasks like reading lists, that kind of thing, and then a space for other information, whatever it may be. I've even seen one person who has a whole sort of financial management thing going on in ClickUp. I don't know how they set that up, and it may be something that I look into in the future, but they have that in a separate space because it's not a project, it's not a task, it's nothing like that. Or you could use some combination of all of the above. So before you start setting up your spaces, think through what do you want the top level of your organization system to be? Which leads into the obvious question about spaces is how many should you have? Because you could break it down and you could have 20 or 30 spaces. Now, obviously, the number of spaces that you can have is limited on the free plan, but if you're paying for the unlimited plan, then you can have unlimited spaces. I would say it's up to you, really, but the more spaces you have, the more convoluted and complicated and more unwieldy your whole organization system becomes. So I would recommend that you have around about five or six. The reason why I say this is because if you have too few, then you're not really using the spaces at all. If you have one space for personal and one space for work, that you could do that, but you could say you're not breaking that down enough. And if you have 10 or 15 spaces, then the whole thing just becomes too convoluted and unwieldy. Five or six, four, five, six. These are a good number of spaces to have. So have a think. What do you want the top level of your productivity system in ClickUp to be? how many spaces do you need, and set them up. And then in the next episode, we will look at what are you going to put in those spaces, the folders, the tasks, and the other thing. And so if you've liked this video, please hit that like button. Please do subscribe to the channel. There's more videos on ClickUp to come. Next week, we'll be thinking about what you actually put in the spaces, your folders, your lists, your tasks. Check out these videos that are appearing on the screen over here now. Uh, you might find those helpful, and we'll see you on the next video.